Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. I am currently doing my DM in pediatric oncology from Ames, having done my MD in pediatrics from the same institute. Today I have a very special guest for you, my fiance, Dr. Devya Madan. Hey. Hi. So here she is. She is currently doing her MD in pediatrics from SMS Jaipur. And like you know, I am doing my DM in pediatric oncology. My love interest is oncology, and her love interest more than me also is neuro. So we thought that we'll combine these two and do something on the neurological side effects of anti-cancer drugs. They can and actually have been asked in your entrance examination. So a brief three four minutes video just covering these aspects. Let's begin. So first steroids. Now as far as an oncologist, I'll tell you the indication of steroids. They can ask you a question saying an ALL child was given being steroids or a child who had non-Hodgkin lymphoma was being given steroids. Now what are the side effects that you need to monitor for? Deva will tell you. Um, even an MBBS student would know this that uh, steroids cause hypertension and psychosis. These are the major side effects. The child may present to us with uh, seizures, and on MRI you can see a press like picture. The child would be hypertensive. The key to this is managing the hypertension and uh, looking for other signs of steroid toxicity. So basically, a child with steroids presents to you with seizure. You should always look for hypertension because of the hypertensive encephalopathy because of the steroids can lead to seizures, can lead to press. At the same point of time, as you know, steroids cause psychosis. Next one, the wind calculus, the wind crystal, and the wind blasting. We know that they are used for leukemias. They are used for Hodgkin lymphoma. They look for Wilms tumor. They are for retinal blastoma. They are used for all range of conditions. The mechanism of action is they are basically spindle inhibitors. Now, what are the side effects? What is what's the typical side effect? And it's actually asked very frequently in examination. It's peripheral neuropathy. Most of the children uh, you will encounter with ALL, you will find that they have the tingling sensation in the hands, fingers. They might be having body aches. All this is due to peripheral neuropathy, and these children have received wind crystal in uh, some point of time in their uh, protocol. So uh, the major should... side effect is peripheral neuropathy. And, and you should remember the yeah. dose limiting side effect is wrist drop or and foot, foot drop. drop. So if a child has or an adult has wrist drop and foot drop, you can no longer give wind wind crystal and wind blasting. This wind calculus. It's important to note that the peripheral neuropathy involves both motor as well as sensory nerves. Next comes RASI. RASI is cytosine arabinoside. It's given again for leukemias and lymphomas. Now, what is the main side effects? And there's a mnemonic that's given here in the video itself. A C for cytrobine or RASI and C for cerebellar toxicity. So, uh, any child with ataxia or you see any of the cerebral cerebellar signs then it would be due to cytrobine so you have ataxia what i go develop your child is swinging around this suggests cerebellar toxicity look whether the child has received arasi next one up is the platinum compound your cisplatin your carboplatin your taxanes they are used for germ cell tumors basically all solid tumors like pataplastoma osteosarcoma now what is the side effect the side effect is autotoxicity as well as peripheral neuropathy. You should always remember that they are also nephrotoxic. Just like aminoglycosides, they are both autotoxic and neurotoxic. The autotoxic and nephrotoxic, the reason is that they inhibit a special calcium channel that is present both in the inner hair cells and in the kidney. In the tubular cells. So the kidney, yes, the tubular cells. Last, last two, but definitely not the least, methotrexate. Methotrexate again is used for leukemia and lymphomas along with osteosarcoma. What are the side effects? Uh, side effects that are frequently encountered are encephalopathy and seizures. Remember this encephalopathy that you can see in case of methotrexate is reversible. You just need to stop methotrexate and the child will come all right after a point of time. Another one very important drug in fact regimen uh, present in all the regimens of leukemia is uh, ALL is uh, LS vaginase. Now the major side effect of LS vaginase is thrombosis and the major site of thrombosis is cortical sinus venous thrombosis that is CV, CSVT CSVT thrombosis is caused by which drug this was actually asked in your AIMS entrance in AIMS 2012 also the pancreatitis that is caused by LS is also due to thrombosis in the pancreas so basically it, can co it causes a hypercoagulability like state they can ask you in this form also they can ask you which drug causes hypercoagulability the answer will be LS vaginase this hypercoagulability can lead to stroke this hypercoagulability can lead to CSVT this hypercoagulability can lead to pancreatic damage and pancreatitis now also remember how to rule out option even if you don't remember all this you should know that these particular class of drugs which are less likely 
so alkylating agent anthracyclines and topo isomerizers they tend to cause neurotoxicity less likely not always but if you have these in option and you have an option from the above maybe you can juggle up and take a educated guess about what to mark and what not to mark thank you the same point of time devya also loves to teach a lot of people she is on instagram as baby doctor journey uh if you want to follow you can follow her she also has a youtube channel where she will be do she will teaches just neurological topics because her particular interest is in neuro and link is in the description thank you